wine by the fire yeah. I don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Hey guys, as you can see, Jeff has already got the video started. He cleaned the kitchen for me because last night, you know, we left it a mess. And so he cleaned it while I did the Bible study. And um, I'm about to try my tea. Y'all can probably hear the thing going. Let me move it over here, move the camera over here. We haven't turned on our Christmas lights yet. I wonder why we haven't, I don't know. Do you know? Anyway, um, I went and got my phone so I can look up this new tea. And also, we're not cooking supper tonight because we have tons of leftovers. Y'all saw we had some leftovers. Plus, we still have other things um, that are left over that we need to eat. So, no cooking for supper tonight. But I am going to be doing some cooking with y'all because I'm going to, or not really cooking, prepping. Because I want to get some things set up for our, um eat at home challenge I'm trying to say the right words um, but today is I showed y'all a little bit last time the Rashi Eleuthero El, Eleuthero I don't know how you say it it's a French roast organic prebiotic acid free caffeine free mushroom herbal tea blend and it says Rashi Asia's famed health promoting mushroom enhanced with Siberia's gold standard adaptogen Eleuthero plus deep rich coffee like flavor from, from roasted chicory and ramon seeds. It's got carob pods, chicory root, barley, ramon seeds, elethera root, um, 600 milligrams of that, rashi mushroom extract, 300 milligrams of that, and natural coffee flavor. I do have some essential oils that are coffee. I wonder if that's what they're using is something like that. I don't know. Anyways, which that's supposed to be actual coffee, not a coffee flavor. Whenever something says it's a flavor, it kind of bothered me. Sorry for getting in your face. All right, I'm going to open this up. Hopefully, I won't cut the string. <laughs> Maybe I won't cut the string. But I got the water going. And I'm going to heat this up. I don't... I was wondering if it said it had, like, the dates or anything like that in it. Because it smells... It smells kind of sweet. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get that one in there. I think this is the last mushroom. I think we talked about that. This is what it looks like. The package. That's how you spell it. Okay. And it says, feel the stress relief and boost your 
immunity with wellness mushrooms and adaptogenic herbs this holiday season. So there's only a few more days left. That whole that whole section there is gone. It's all gone. And then we've got one there, two there. So that's three, four, four more days, and we'll be done. But let's figure out what the rashi mushroom is good for, what it looks like, all that stuff. I've actually heard of this one before. Oh, it looks kind of cute. It's uh, got glare from the lights, no matter how I do it. Kind of looks like a little tree in that little pot. But um, there it is growing on a little log. It does not look gross. So let's learn about it a little bit. Okay, it's a polypore fungus native to East Asia belonging to the genus Ganoderma. Put me some water in here so it can start steeping. What are you doing, Jeffrey? Oh, today's the 20th. He's got one more day home and then he's got to go to work and then he's got how many days off? You gotta go to work day after tomorrow, but then how many days do you have off? Okay, it's a reddish brown varnished kidney shaped cap with the bands and peripherally inserted stem. It gives it a distinct fan like appearance. You have 11 days off? Yay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trapped. It came off! Jeffrey! What? Huh? What? My tea bag is gone. <laughs> it's in there. Oh, I hope that doesn't mean that it's going to have tea grounds. I don't think it's broken. No. It's just the top. Okay, it's fine. I'll get it out with a spoon. Anyways, what's it good for? The uses. Um... That this is not helping me any benefits. Let's go to that. Oh, it's a bitter tasting fungus with no proven health benefits. It's thought to have some effects on the immune system. Rashi mushroom is used for Alzheimer's disease, cancer, diabetes, cold sores, and many other conditions. There is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. Y'all know the scientific evidence is not always what we need. High levels of cholesterol and other fats, lipids in the blood, taking rashi mushroom by mouth doesn't seem to lower cholesterol levels to help people with diabetes and high cholesterol. It's possibly ineffective for those things. Um, it may cause dizziness, dry mouth, itching, nausea, stomach upset, and a rash. I don't know. Oh, it can cause a bleeding risk for like high levels of it if you eat a lot of it. But it doesn't really tell me what it's good for. Okay. Possibly if in oh that's ineffective. What? This doesn't tell me much of anything. What does this one say? From WebMD. That's what I was just reading. This is six benefits. Okay. From Rashi mu Mushrooms. This is the doctor who put this out. Okay. Boost immune system. I'm not reading all of it. Anti-cancer properties. Fights fatigue and depression. Um heart health is potential rest, uh, things here and blood sugar control and antioxidant status 
I mean, although it's going to say possible and all that kind of stuff, we don't know if it's really going to work and blah, blah, blah. Because they have to. They can't say it's absolutely going to work or it's absolutely not going to work. They can't, well, they can say it's not going to work. But then again, they, I mean, you know, websites, how, you got to say it's your opinion or something or else somebody gets see you nowadays. You know, I'm going to spoon. I'm kind of afraid to try it now that it said it was bitter because a couple of them have been a little bit bitter. That's usually why I end up adding the monk fruit. But I don't want bitterness. Maybe that's why they added other things to this to make it not as bitter. I don't know. It looks like coffee. Right. trying not to burn myself. We'll get rid of this. It kind of smells like coffee. I'm not even in frame. Whoops. But at least it's not a gross one. I mean, I don't mind mushrooms growing on trees and stuff. But I still wonder. Somebody saw that plant there and we were like, oh, that looks like something to eat. I wonder that about potatoes and onions too and they're delicious. I wonder that about a lot of things. Like, oh, that looks like something we can eat. Let's chow down on that one. I mean, I can understand an apple or a grape. That looks appetizing. I can understand lettuce, tomato. It looks yummy. But a mushroom? I don't know. Pulling something out of the ground and like, ooh, that looks like a good root to eat. Let's have peanut. <laughs> I don't know. Let's turn it into peanut butter. I don't know. Somebody came up with a thought of doing it. All right, let's try this one. Got my snowman mug. Jeff washed it for me. It's raining, y'all. It's a very rainy day. Tastes a lot like one of the other ones. It's not bitter so far. What does that taste like? It tastes kind of like coffee though, which it's supposed to with chicory, you know. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes fine. Um, I don't have any half and half in here, so I'm going to use a little bit of my creamer today, which it is a little bit, it, I, I get the bitterness a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of that bitterness. I had some condensed milk left over from where I had made those cookies so I used that little bit to make my creamer so it's not a full thing this time but that's all right once it's gone I'll make a full thing it just tastes a lot like coffee it's a good one I think so far anyway I think using my creamer was a good idea because it was a, you could get a little bit of bitterness from it but then again it might have been just because that's where my brain went because it said it but it doesn't it's, this one's okay this is not a gross one yeah that one's pretty good 
So, the last ones we have. What is the very last one? Scanning, scanning, scanning. Dandelion caramel nut. And then French roast vanilla is the one before that. Nope. Dark chocolate is the one before that. Then French roast. Where I get vanilla? I don't even know. And then mocha is tomorrow. So there's that. Now I'm gonna set myself up to start doing some um freezer cooking. And I know I didn't clean the bathroom yesterday, but it's okay. I'll get it. Even if it's not filmed, I'll get it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't taste, it tastes like a coffee, but not like, it doesn't taste like my favorite coffee, but I don't think I'm going to find that in a tea, but it's good. It's good one. So I would recommend this one more than I would some of those others. Even though I don't think it's my favorite. <laughs> it's not terrible though. But I wanna do some like banana nut muffins because I have some bananas that need to be done. And I wanna do some other things. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, really. Um, I think I'm gonna sit down and make a list but I don't know, you know, exactly what I'm gonna do yet. I've gotta figure that out, so I'll be back. Okay, so today I'm going to make a bunch of different muffins. I'm gonna make some banana nut ones with chocolate chips, and I'm gonna make some blueberry ones, and probably the raspberry ones but I'm gonna use the pancake mix muffins because I have a lot of pancake mix that needs to be used and I think that that will be the fastest, easiest ones. And I think it uses less ingredients, so it's just what I'm gonna to try to do. One of the things I'm going to do though, I have the silicone liners sitting here, then I've got, this is my ceramic pan, pans right here. And then I've got these metal ones that are for the bigger muffins. And I've got my cast iron one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and bake some cast iron ones. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to line all of these things with paper liners. And they are the small paper liners. They're not the big ones. So they're not going to fit in this exactly like it needs to be. Um, the only reason I'm using these is because I don't have a lot of muffin pans that are all the same size and I want the muffins to be in the liners I don't know if that makes sense or not but this way I can just use the pan as a form freeze the muffins and then put them into a freezer bag label it and put it in the freezer and whenever I want to bake them all I've got to do is take them out put them in a muffin pan and let them cook now these over here silicone ones I could just put the muffins in here and pop them out and freeze them that way and they would pop right out of these but I was thinking I could do that but then whenever it comes time to bake them I would still either have to put them into a paper liner or put them back into one of these. So I'm just gonna use the paper liners. So I'm gonna get everything set up and then I'm gonna start prepping part of the stuff for freezer muffins and the other I'm gonna bake some. And I don't know what all I'm gonna make yet, but we'll see. Okay, so I know y'all can't see all of me, but I'm gonna be standing for this um, cause I think that will be best. I think I have everything I need to get started, at least with the one type of muffin. But what I'm gonna do is just put the little liners in. Jeff is cutting me up some walnuts. Maybe I should have done this off camera, but I'm gonna put the liners in and then I'm gonna mix up the first batch of muffins. I don't know how these are gonna work with these small 
maybe I won't put the liners in for these little silicone ones, but then I can't use them again. I was gonna try to freeze them and then use them again, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm at least gonna put them in these. I'll use those last. That's what I'll do. I'll use the small silicone ones last. If I don't need them all, then I won't try to do the liners. But if I need them, I'll do the liners. But the plan is to cut, cook some of these because I've never done this with some of these flavors I'm doing today. I've never done it with a banana. And I've done it with the blueberry, I think, and I've done it with chocolate chip. But I don't know if I'm doing chocolate chip ones because I don't think anybody that lives here now loves chocolate chip muffins very much. Like, Noah will eat them. Me and Jeff don't, and I don't think that Noah likes them as much as he does the other kinds. So, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's plenty. Cause I'm making, I'm not making a bunch of banana ones because I just, I'm not gonna make a bunch of banana ones. And I normally spray these paper liners. And I know some people say you don't have to, but I'm not the only one that does it. I've seen other people do it too. But these do not, they're not parchment liners. They're just paper. So they don't have any oil infused in them like parchment paper does. So whatever you cook is most likely gonna stick unless it's a very oily thing. And these are not oily. Jeff's eating walnuts. Here at walnut. Those go on the top shelf. Just to let you know after you're done with them. I don't care how many you eat. You got more. All right, so I'm gonna get this started. Jeff, can you spray these ones that have the paper on uh, them? Um, spray the papers? These two? Yes, all the paper, but not these. I don't know if I'm going to use these yet. I know there's not much in there, but we've got some more. All right, so I got this recipe from Oh My Kids Plate. <laughs> oh My Kids Plate. Okay, I can't read. And I'm not going to tell you the exact measurements, but I will link this recipe down below. And she says you can use strawberries, blueberries, banana, chocolate chip, and even peanut butter. And I'm thinking about making some peanut butter muffins. It's just according to how I feel. Um, but what I'm planning on doing is each type that I make, I'm going to make two or three and put over here into this iron one. I'm not putting that in the freezer. So I'm going to get, and I'm also adding one extra thing that she does not have into this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put the banana in, a very ripe banana. It's extremely ripe. It's perfect for banana bread because ain't nobody wants to eat it for nothing else. And you don't want to waste it. All right, there's the banana. <laughs> All right, so I got the banana in there and now I'm gonna put the pancake mix, which um, people may think, oh, that's weird, pancake mix. We've done it before and it turned out really good. So we're doing it again. All right. We've got a lot of pancake mix because we bought it at Darlene's for a really good price. All right, there's the pancake mix. And this is the thing that is not called for. This is a mix of vanilla protein powder, chia seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds. I'm putting one little scoop in there, and I'm gonna do that with all of them so that uh, it's a little bit extra um, it's a little bit extra vitamins and stuff. All right. 
No, I don't think. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I do. Not unless I make apple ones, which might be good. Apple cinnamon muffins. That sounds good. All right, put that egg in there. Keep that for next time. have a clue why the dogs have started barking. All right, sugar. And these don't have a lot of sugar in them, which I liked that. There were some recipes that had a ton of sugar. I was like, no, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. That's just too much of that stuff. All right, oil. Make sure I got the right measuring device. And this is olive oil and it's the more, um, less refined, I guess you could say. So that might be a situation. All right, now I'm gonna put milk I'm gonna put a little bit more milk than what it calls for. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I put that chia and all that in there. But I'm not putting much more, just a tiny bit more than what it called for. Because the chia and all that needs um, the milk, the liquid. It just needs liquid. All right. I'm gonna put in the nuts, the walnuts, and I'm going to put in some chocolate chips. Do what? Well, I'm not going to start cooking them till I get all of them done. But you could preheat it to 400 if you want to. All right, all those chocolate chips are gone, so I'm going to get the other bag. all chocolate chip, but I want some. Can you put this back in the pantry? Because I don't need this anymore. But it needs to be in a bag. Well, I know it's in a bag, but I don't trust that zipper is my point. Because I've had them open before, or else the kids didn't close it right. I don't know which one it was. All right, so I'm gonna mix this together and chop up that banana a little bit. I probably should have squished the banana some but I didn't. It'll get smooshed. I probably could use a mixer, but I'm not doing that either, am I? And if I find that I need to add some more liquid, I will, because like I said, the chia does cause it to have, um, it absorbs liquid. together in there. This is one I don't think Jeff will eat because he doesn't like banana muffins. Would you eat this, Jeffrey? If I'm starving. <laughs> if you were starving? Okay then. Alright, so I'm going to put some into um, this pan over here that I'm going to bake now, which I'm not going to bake it until I get all, like I said, I've said it over and over again. I'm going to stop saying it. I'm going to put some in this pan 
and then I'm gonna put the rest to freeze for later. And this is, um, I think I want to say it's a one third, no, it's a one eighth cup scoop or one eighth cup spoon, measuring spoon. All right, put them in here. Oh, uh, you didn't spray these. You didn't spray these. These are not sprayed. Oh no, that's already got one in it. They're not sprayed. All the paper ones, because they're not. They don't have oil on them. They're just paper. And that means that the stuff is going to stick. The only ones that said not to spray was these. Because um, they're silicone. Alright, so I'll be back when I get all of these in the pan or in the whatever and I'm ready to start the next one but y'all can see what I'm doing I'm putting them in here and then I'm gonna freeze it and it looks like I don't know I may only do two kinds because I don't I may not have enough but actually before I leave I want to tell y'all what I'm doing I think I said a little bit but I don't think I really explained myself I'm trying to set myself up for success during January. So, oh, there's a big piece of banana. <laughs> Oops. But so that whenever I'm doing the eat at home challenge, I can just throw some muffins in the oven like the night before and get them baked up for the next day. And I don't have to think about what I'm having for dinner, for breakfast. And, um, like on a grocery shopping day, which is when we usually end up going out to eat. So I could throw a banana muffin and a blueberry muffin or something, which Jeff would eat toast and be happy, but I would too. But sometimes you want something else. Sometimes you want something with a little flavor. I'm just trying to set it up to where that I don't have to do the whole entire job. And I have time to do it today because I'm not cooking supper because leftovers is, that's what's happening. Which I would have made time to do it at some point anyway. But what I plan on doing is like today I'm doing some and then I'll do some more um I'll do one more over here I'll do some more on I don't know some other day some other like I'll do some savory things on a different day I won't just do breakfast things next time I may do uh, like a supper or something let's we'll see how many this makes get all the goodie off there's not any chocolate chips in this so I'm just going to put this in with some of these over here. Oh, I'll make a mess. Alright, so that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There probably could have been 20, but I just did it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these 
in the freezer and get this cleaned up and then I will come back when I have uh, the next ones getting it started. Okay, so now I'm doing the blueberry ones and I did the mix just like it said and I believe I'm going to have to add some extra milk to this one because the banana had liquid to it but you know because the banana is moist or whatever but these do not and I feel like it needs it compared to the other so um this is the blueberry ones I've got the blueberries that I had bought and I'm just gonna freeze them or no I bought them and I froze them and I am gonna freeze these but I'm thinking I might need a little bit more milk I don't want to over mix this but I'm seeing that it's just not as loose as what I would like I'm going to go ahead and add, I had washed and um, I washed these and then I froze them. But I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, wow, those are some big old blueberries. I maybe should have uh, cut them up before I put them in the freezer, but it'll be all right. I think, I hope anyway. But I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the banana ones, the banana nut. And I'm going to um, cook a couple for tonight or whenever, the next day or so. And then the rest of them I'm going to freeze. And I did put some of the protein um, flax hemp mix to it. And I got that idea from Tiffany from Large Family Love. That's not my idea. I don't know where she got it from, if she came up with it or what, but she does it all the time. And I thought it's a good way to add a little extra protein to your baked goods. She does a lot of that stuff because of her kids. I know she hides vegetables that she freeze dries and things. which is a good idea. And Jeff has already put the banana uh, muffins, some of them, in the freezer for me. Ooh, that one may be too full. I don't know, it's settling down a little bit now. I don't know if this one has any blueberries in it. We're gonna have to get one. One or two out of here. And put it in there. But, like I said, I don't know how this is going to work out. We're going to try it, though. I think it'll work out all right. In a few days, I'll pull one of them out and that's frozen and cook it for you guys. Like I did with the others, I, I showed y'all what they turned out like. They worked out good. should have changed shirts before I started doing this but it's so cold I don't want to change shirts I like to have my hoodie on but I don't like to have my sleeves way down I'm gonna see what I can do next I don't know I'm thinking about raspberry but I've never had raspberry muffins before and I don't know if I'm even going to like them, so I don't know if I want to freeze them and have them for later. Because I'll probably, okay, here's what I would probably do. If I did not like them, they would probably sit in my freezer forever because I wouldn't want to cook them. So that would not be the best idea. So I think I'll wait and just try raspberry sometime and um that one's not as full and then i'll try them you know frozen if we like i 
I like that this is a thicker mix because then it won't be, it'll be, it's easier to control if that makes sense. a mess. I was trying to avoid that. It didn't work out. Hmm. I guess I'll put another one over here. We'll have four of this one. I have four of the banana ones too that I'm cooking today. So now I'm going to figure out what other flavor I want to do. Jeff, would you want to do apple cinnamon? Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> what about cinnamon apple? No answer. It wasn't as funny to him as it was to me, I guess. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I heard what you said, but no problem. <laughs> All right, we're going to figure out what the other one's going to be, and I'll let you know. Oh, and we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen of those. How? I don't know. There's less, but okay. Okay, with this one, I'm doing eggnog ones. If I can get enough of this out. I have some more of it already mixed up. It's just not in here. But that's enough of that. Right, I'm doing eggnog. So the only difference is I'm using the same mix and then I'm putting eggnog instead of milk. And I might add a little bit of sugar. Not sugar, cinnamon. losing my mind. What, Jeffrey? Why are you looking at me like that? Like that? Also, I think I figured out why that the uh, banana ones, there was m one more, or a few more than the other. The banana ones had more ingredients. They had banana, uh, chocolate chips, and wa uh, walnuts. Why would I want to say waffles? That's not right. Anyway. I'm doing eggnog ones this time. So, we're going to see how they're going to work out. And I'm going to just put them into um, the silicone molds. Definitely going to need some more liquid. That's some thick stuff. And we'll see how that they bake up tonight, like when they're freshly made, because I'm gonna bake it. Jeff's got the oven preheated for me. And um, I'm gonna bake some, which I've already said 14 times. Y'all are probably getting sick of hearing it. I'm getting sick of hearing it. Jeffrey, are you sick of hearing it? Sick of hearing what? Me saying I'm going to bake some tonight. He didn't see, he's not sick of hearing it because he hadn't heard it the first time, I guess. And I was going to um, label each bag, but I don't know. I may just put them in there 
like they are and just make different kinds each time I make them. All right, I'm gonna put them in here. I'm probably overfilling them. I normally do. Do you want to stick these in the oven that we're cooking tonight? Well, you helped me, so we are doing it. I think we are doing it. Which one? Those. You, we got to bake them for... Fit, tip 12 minutes. So put it on 12 minutes. Okay, so it took the blueberry ones, some of the blueberry ones, not that one because it was really small, and um, the eggnog ones longer to get finished. Well, no, actually, it took all of them longer to get finished, but more than 12 minutes. But. It took them like um, 18, no, 19 minutes for the other ones to get done. But anyway, that's the banana nut chocolate chip ones. These are the blueberry ones. And these are the eggnog ones. And I don't want to try every single one of these. And I'm the only one that eats muffins at this house right now. So I'm going to just try... A blueberry one I think and let you know what I think about it because like I said I don't want to try I don't want to eat all these muffins that's just too many for one person and that pan only does 11 so that's why there's only 11 so I'm gonna try the blueberry one but I'm gonna go sit down at the table and do it okay so Jeff is eating his dinner I'm not eating mine yet Noah already ate he ate leftover lasagna Jeff's eating the barbecue chicken and macaroni and cheese I don't know what I'm having so I guess I'm having a muffin I don't know um I haven't decided what I wanted so I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper that's the way it looks it's not focusing okay there we go it looks good so let's break it apart. It's still pretty warm. It's really warm. Show the inside of it. If it will focus. Can you focus? There we go. That's what the inside looks like. Remember it's got the chia and stuff in it. So it's going to have the little black specks. Inside of it. Yes, I'm procrastinating to let it cool a little bit. It looks like I only got one blueberry. <laughs> this is the one that had the one blueberry. But that's all right. Tastes good. I can taste all that good for you stuff in it. The flax and all that. So... Um, I might have put too much for some people, but not for me. I like the way it tastes, but these are good. You want to try it? Chicken wad. I don't think eating muffins is Try it. Try that part. It doesn't have any blueberry on it. I don't even taste the blueberry because I only got one blueberry. I think they're good and tastes kind of like a just a bread a sweet bread that's what he did but I will try in a few days I'll show y'all what they look like whenever you bake them from frozen but they're not going to be frozen probably until tomorrow. So I'll show you what they look like in tomorrow's video once they're frozen. 
But I guess that's all I have for today because I don't have much else to do or much else I'm going to be doing that I can show y'all. Because I don't know. Jeff did the kitchen. I don't have any clothes to wash. I'm not doing the floors today even though today's the day. Because like I said, I'm only tr going to try to do like twice a week because of my back. Um, Right now anyway. What was I going to say? I can't remember. But there's nothing else I have to do that... Oh, I am going to be trying to do a little bit each each week, each couple days. Not each week because there's only two weeks left before January. But I'm going to try to do a little bit to um, prep for meals for January to make quick meals. So we're not tempted to go out to eat and stuff like that easy meals which most of the meals I cook are easy anyway but I don't know I need some convenience foods without the convenience price right do you know what that means yeah you remember how we used to buy all the hamburger helper which we do have some of that but the hamburger helper and all the frozen foods and all that kind of stuff we used to buy all the time, which we still buy some, but nowhere near as much. The yeah, the quick and easy ones. This quicker than doing it from scratch. That's convenience foods. We used to buy those all the time. We don't do that anymore. Maggie's walking around under the camera. She's wanting Jeff to drop something. I ain't got nothing to drop. He's done. She says, but I want it. Give her a chunk. Ch no, not that. <laughs> the chunks, her, her treats. Anyway, I'm going to go and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thursday, there will be a bonus video. So be on the lookout for that. 6 a.m. Central Time. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And if you like this video, do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, do them anyway. Because you might like something to do later. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how cold you are because it's getting chilly. It's not as cold here as it is in some places, though. I saw somebody it was in the negative 15 or something like that. Like, um, this was on Instagram, but it's pretty chilly in some places. I don't want to live there. So, leave me a comment. Tell me how cold you are or how warm you are. But make sure you stay warm even if it's cold outside. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.